Special member request, we have glare, floating. Right. And I'll give you a couple methods for this initial section here. Um, kind of like more of that uh, whammy bar, like My Bloody Valentine style bending going on. And just kind of if you don't have the, the whammy or the tremolo arm, then just more of just like a straight up bending. A little bit of a loss with the chords, but uh, kind of the same vibe and feel. So this initial section we're kind of more or less going between like a F suspended second and the B flat suspended second so just kind of make these shapes here at the 8 on the A with the 10 D and G 8 on the B and basically you want to kind of have like a pre depressed or pre dip um, on the bar and then you kind of strum the chord and just let up okay, that type of feel there just kind of coming into the chord, you know? All right, and just give it uh, another strum, another few strums, kind of a loose shuffling strum. Type of deal. And then we just take that shape, drop it down to the first fret, three on the D and G, one on the B, and the same type of deal there, just kind of pre-depress uh, it, release it, and then just a couple strums, few more strums, and just go between the chords like that. And the second method, you know, if you don't have the tremolo whammy arm there, um, just kind of doing this where we make the power chord of it, all right, at that first F sus 2 vibe. So we got the 8A, 10D, and basically we just want to get like a, a little, like half bend into the chord now. So we'll just take that 11 on the G and just give it that little half bend. All right, so we don't get that full huge chord, but it's still kind of the same essence of it. And just kind of get it bent and hold the bend and just strum through it as it's bent. Okay, so that type of deal. And then um, you could just drop down here, but it's a little tricky kind of getting the bends going on when you're that low, close to the net, you know? So I like to just go to this spot here where we do the 6E8, on the A, and then we'll give the seven on the D, that half bend. And just go between them just like that. And for this, I guess, chorus section you call it, um, I'm, I'm gonna combine kind of what, what like the chords are going on and the kind of lead section over the top of it. 
So uh, essentially, it'll go to like uh, a D flat six, you know, when you're kind of putting the, the lead over the top of this. But basically, we're just going to do like the, the D flat power chords, so the 4A, 6D. And then we want this six on the high E. That's kind of like the lead stuff going on. Okay, just hitting those sixes about three times. Right, and it's kind of the same lead over, you know, four different chords. Um, the next part of it, we just bump up to this E flat, and this will be more or less like an E flat sus4, where we're doing the six A, eight D. Right, and then we're going to do this B string. We go 9 to 8, then to 8 on the G. All right, and you repeat that little lead part twice, the 9, 8 to 8 G. All right, and then the next chord is A flat, and this will be more like a sus2 vibe here because um, we're going to hit the 4, E, 6, A, then we want that same six on the high E again. All right, everything else is just kind of muted because their fingers are just, you know, lightly draped over it. And then we want our, our nine, eight, eight lead again, but the new chord over the top is this F. And so in the midst of all that, it'll be more like an F minor seven. So we got the eight on the A, the 10 D, and then we're going to want our 9, 8B to 8G again. So we're just kind of making this F minor 7 shape up here. All right, and we just go through those four chords with the lead, that same lead over the top of it, and just repeat. All right, into this interlude section, it's more or less just the same chorus chords going on, but we have this uh, different kind of lead thing over the top of it. So... Uh, we're going to want just basically this octave thing. Bring it up here to the 11A, 13G. All right, up a set now for the 9E, 11D. Bump it up to 11, 13. We just do this little back and forth with the 13, 11, 13 on the D. All right, and then we just come up now. It'll shift to that A flat now. And that's, you know... 13 uh, up here on the A and 15 on the G as the A flat chords over the top of it. Just kind of hold it and then we go once more and then just drop it down to that 11, 13 that we started at once it shifts to the F, F minor seven. 